I'm here with Dr. Romano and Professor Blois to do problems on cylinders and spheres. Hi, I'm Dr. Romano, Professor of Organic Chemistry here at Romano Scientific and the creator of the Orgo Man products and the Death Destroyer book. We're here with Professor Blois and he's going to do a good solid word problem on spheres and cylinders, correct? Spheres and cylinders, yes. All right, go to it. Okay, here we go. Spheres and cylinders. Let's read the problem first. Find the ratio of surface areas of two spherical balloons whose respective volumes are in the ratio of 27 to 8. Now, before we even begin the problem, we should know what the formula for the volume of a sphere is and the surface area of a sphere. Volume of a sphere, you should just put that away in your reference uh, math reference formulas. Four thirds, four thirds pi r cubed. And the surface area of a sphere is 4 pi r squared, which means it's 4 times the area of a circle of the same radius. Okay, so now we're talking about radius, uh, ratios here. So the ratio of, two, uh, uh, the ratio of surface areas of, of two spherical balloons whose represent, uh, respective volumes are in the ratio of 27 to 8. So let's write down the, for, the expression for the ratio of volumes of these two spheres. Volume of sphere A divided by the volume of sphere B. So what do we have? 4 thirds pi r sub a cubed over 4 thirds pi r sub b cubed. Well, the 4 thirds and the pi cancel out. So what we're really left with is the radius, the ratio of the cubes of the radius, of the radii, the two radii. So what does that give us? We know that the ratio is equal to 27 to 8. So very conveniently, we can take the cube root of both sides, and we know that the ratio of radii of both sides is going to be the cube root of 27 is 3, the cube root of 8 is 2. So we know that the ratio of their radiuses, or their radii, is 3 to 2. So now, but we're, what we're asked for in this problem is the ratio of the surface areas. So let's write down what the ratio of the surface areas are. The surface area of sphere A to the surface area of sphere B is 4 pi r sub A squared over 4 pi r sub B squared. Well, just like in the previous problem, you can see the 4 of the pi is going to cancel out. The ratio of surface areas is just simply going to be the ratio of the squares of the radii. Okay? And so we know what the value of the radii of radii, we know what the ratio is. R a r sub a to r sub b is three halves. So this is going to be r sub a, the ratio of that to r sub b squared. This is going to be three halves squared, and the answer is nine fourths or nine to four. The ratio of their surface areas is then nine to four. Okay. Now we move on to the next problem involving a cylinder. A cylindrical soup can is designed so that its height remains the same, but its original radius is tripled. How many times more soup can a new larger can hold? Okay, so what's the, what's, uh, the original cylinder, volume of the original cylinder? What is the volume of the cylinder? Well, intuitively, it's going to be the area of the lid times the height. So we have a, an area times the height to give us the volume. So it's going to be pi r squared times h. Okay, so what is the new? The new volume is going to be pi r squared. Well, the, the radius is going to be tripled, so it's going to be three times the original radius and then times the height. The height's going to remain the same. So what's the ratio of the new volume to the original volume? It's going to be pi times 3r squared times h. That'll give us equal uh, 9 pi r squared h. Okay, so that's going to be 9 pi r squared h. And the volume of the original cylinder is pi r squared h. And you can see everything cancels out except the 9. The new can can hold 9 times more soup. And that's the way to approach that. Okay, I like it. So these were two really solid problems. So yeah, you would think this is on the money for the debt. Oh, what definitely. You, you should know that those formulas for the cylinder an area and volume for the sphere and the volume for the cylinder, definitely, yeah. All right, there you have it. Some more great problems by Professor Blois. Thank you, Professor. My pleasure. Okay, bye-bye.